slowly lower yourself down all the way down to the mat with control. Now make sure that you are laying down the center of your mat. You always want to think about your mat as a frame for your body. You want to be in the middle of your frame. My knees are bent and my legs are going to be about hip width apart and my heels are right underneath my knees for a pelvic lift and the arms are going to be long by the sides of the body. Palms are down. And just feel your pelvis, your spine, your head, your body relax into the mat for a moment. Take a deep breath with me. And as you exhale, draw your navel in toward your spine. Tilt the pelvis back so you press your lower back into the mat. Engage your abdominals. Now pressing down into the feet and with the arms and slowly begin to lift your pelvis, your lower back and your middle back away from the floor, coming up into your bridge. So a long line from your shoulders to your hips, your knees, soften your front ribs, lift your pubic bone to the sky and allow your inner thighs to be engaged so that your knees don't splay outward away from the center of your body. Take a deep breath at the top. Feel your glutes and your hamstrings engage. Exhale, tilt that pelvis back a bit so you're tucking under, so you feel more of a stretch through the quadriceps. Now begin to slowly melt your spine into the mat. And that's a good way to describe it. Melting the spine, softening the spine, one bone at a time, till your pelvis and your tailbone lands on the mat, and then you relax for a moment. Take a deep breath. Exhale, draw the navel in, tilt the pelvis, press the lower back into the mat. Now press down into the feet so you're lifting against the pull of gravity as you lift your spine. Take a deep breath here. And then exhale, slowly rolling down, taking your time. So this is a great way to strengthen your hamstrings and glutes, stretch your hip flexors and quads, and also to just create a, a sense of a, a, a suppleness in your spine. Joe Pilates used to say, you're only as young as your spine is flexible. Keep moving your spine. Take a deep breath and exhale, roll down. Because having a supple spine, supple yet strong back, spine, core, is an important component to good health and vitality as we age. Take a deep breath and exhale. Rolling up, 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 up. Okay, so now let's keep the hips up for a moment. And we're just going to challenge this, your ability to keep the softness in your ribs and this lifting of the pubic bone and this alignment with the legs and this firing up of your hamstrings and glutes. You're gonna lower your hips like a half an inch and then press the hips up half an inch. And lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good, keep going. Let's do three more. Take a deep breath here and slowly roll down. Excellent. Okay. So now go ahead and bring your legs and feet together and allow your tailbone to be heavy on the mat and allow your lumbar spine, which is the base of your spine, to be light. So there's gonna be a little pocket of air underneath your lower back. Like right now, I'm able to take one hand and slip it underneath my lower back just to feel that little bit of space there so that we have the pelvis in a neutral position. And we're gonna to try to maintain that as we go through upper ab curls. So you're gonna take your hands behind your head, one palm on top of the other, elbows are wide. Take a deep breath in 
As you exhale, draw your navel in toward your spine. Squeeze your legs together, nod your chin to the chest, and lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Good, so I'm tucking my chin towards my chest, but I'm not pressing my chin into my chest. I want to preserve a little bit of space between my chin and my chest. Use your abdominal muscles to lift you up more than using your arms to lift your head up. Now take a deep breath here. Try to keep the curl. And then exhale, lower your head, neck, and shoulders down. Good, let's do this four more times. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, as you nod your chin to your chest, lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Squeeze your legs together, pull your navel in towards your spine. Try to keep your tailbone heavy on the mat. Do you still have that little bit of space underneath your lower back? Take an inhale. And exhale, lower the head, neck, and shoulders down. Again, deep breath in. And exhale. Make sure your shoulders aren't in your ears. Keep pulling your shoulders down away from your ears. And lower yourself down. Twice more. One last time. Good, take an inhale and exhale, lower yourself down. All right, so now let's do an exercise called tiny steps. Tiny steps trains us to move the legs without allowing the movement of the legs to shift the pelvis or the spine, okay? So we wanna find that neutral pelvic position that we were just talking about. Arms resting long by the sides of your body and you just lift your right leg up to tabletop. And then lift your left leg up to tabletop. So that's knees over hips, ankles in line with your knees. If this is too much for you, you can always just keep one leg down and just work one leg at a time. But this is the ideal. So I'm gonna take a deep breath here. As I exhale, I pull my belly in towards my spine a bit more. I squeeze my legs towards one another and I hinge from my hip as I lower my right foot down towards the floor as if, it's, as if I'm dipping my toes into a well, a puddle of water. And then I lift my right leg up. I squeeze my legs together. Take a deep breath. And exhale, I lower my left foot down. Make sure that the movement of this left leg is not tipping the pelvis forward and you don't arch your back, right? Pull your belly in, pull your ribs down towards the floor beneath you. And now lift your right, your left leg up. Deep breath and exhale. As you lower your right and then lift. Squeeze the legs together. Exhale. Lower the left. And lift. Good, do two more passes everyone. Two more sets, I should say. Keep reaching your arms long along the mat so your shoulders don't creep up towards your ears. Good. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Hold on to your legs, and you can even rock a little side to side. Okay, so the next exercise we'll do is the 100 exercise. So for that, you can always uh, keep your head down if it's too difficult for you to keep your head up, or you can support your head with one hand, okay? You can also keep your feet down as you lift your head, or you can table top your legs. Right? Okay, so I'm holding on to my legs and I'm going to demonstrate the ideal. So I take a deep breath in. As I exhale, I lift my head, neck, and shoulders off of the mat. Look towards my belly. 
And then I'm gonna reach my legs out to a 45 degree angle with my heels together, toes apart, and I squeeze my inner thighs in. Arms are long by the sides of my body, hovering off the mat. And I pop my arms vigorously up and down as I inhale for five counts. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale out, two, three, four, five. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So vigorous pumping in through the nose. You breathe, exhale out through the mouth. Good, keep going. When you exhale, force the breath out like you're pushing it out through a straw. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Three more. The last one. Hug your knees in, rest your head down. Look to your right, look to your left, and feel the weight of your head in the mat. So, remember the gesture that we've done uh, that represents the monkey picking the fruit? We bring the fingers together like so. Yeah. So we're gonna use this gesture again as we just start off with just some simple uh, monkey jumps, okay? Going from side to side. So we're gonna bend the knees. I'm gonna have the legs about hip width apart. I'm going to shift my weight over to my left and I'm gonna jump to my right. So when I jump to the right, I have all, pretty much all of my weight on my right leg and a little bit of weight on my left leg. And then I have my gesturing arm uh, of the right side, which is perpendicular to the floor, and then the opposite is horizontal to the floor. Okay, and then I jump to the other side. Good, and then I do the same thing on the other side. Right, so left arm is perpendicular, right arm is horizontal, good. And then I step back. All right, let's do the same thing again, but now we're gonna go to the left first. So we're gonna go to the left, and then to the right. And then step back. Let's do it again. Right, left, and then left, right. And then stepping back. And now let's go to the left first. Good, and stepping back. So for that, the breath is very natural. Just keep breathing deeply. So now we're going to add a little something to this. So we did, I think we did this in the last class, but it's good to, to bring it back because um, it also just feels really good. So in Qigong, we incorporate self-massage, uh, self-acupressure in the movements very often. So these uh, movements that we're going to do, the, the, the points of the body that we're going to activate are in the low back to support the kidneys, but we're also going to do a little bit to um, open up the energy of the heart, as well as the gallbladder, which is also related to liver, our stress levels, and then also uh, the belly, this area, which is great for our digestion and it helps us ground and center us, okay? So, we are going to start with our legs about shoulder width apart for a little bit of monkey uh, tapping and scratching, all right? So we're gonna jump over to the right. Good, and then we're gonna hold, and then we're gonna go to the left, and then hold. And then from here, again, I have my weight here on my left leg, a little bit of weight on my right, I'm gonna take my hands to my low back, soft fists, I'm gonna bend forward, and I'm gonna tap on my lower back, activating the kidneys, and I'm gonna stand tall with my spine, and then press my hips slightly forward, lift my chest, and then again, I'm gonna bend forward, and then I'm gonna lift, and press my hips forward, 
open my chest and slightly lift my gaze. And then I relax my arms down and I step back. Okay, let's do that again, going to the left and then the right. So we hop to the left, hop to the right, I bend forward and I tap. And then I lift the spine and then I bend forward again. And then I lift the spine and I relax the arms and I step back. Okay. So now let's do that again, but this time we're gonna go right, left, and we're going to do a slightly different way of tending to the body, massaging it, okay? So we're gonna go to the right, and left. Now we're gonna bend forward, take the palms of your hands, and if this isn't comfortable for you, you can always do the backs of your hands, and you're gonna rub the low back. And then lift the spine, press your hips forward, and Continue to rub, bending forward again, and lifting the spine, and then relaxing the arms and stepping back. Okay, let's do it again. Now we're gonna go left and then right. So we go left, and then jump right, bending forward, and rub the low back. Good, relax your arms and step back. Okay, now let's do it again, going to the right and the left. So we go to the right, left. Good, and then from here, we're going to bend forward. You're gonna take the palms of your hands. You're gonna bring your fingers just above the ears at your temples, and you're gonna rub your fingers back and down the neck. So we are massaging acupressure points on the side of your head along the gallbladder meridian. One more time. Good, relax your arms and step back. Okay, let's do it again. We go left and right. So here we go. Bending forward and then run your fingers through your hair. Gently massaging the fascia that runs over the top and the sides of your head and massaging the muscles of your neck. One more time. Good, and step back. All right, now we're gonna do uh, something slightly different. We're gonna go side to side, but now we're going to open up the heart by tapping on the heart. So we're gonna to go to the right, left, and then from here, bending forward, bring your fingertips to the center of your chest and tap over your heart center. And if you'd like, you can even use the heart sound, which is ha. Relax your arms and stepping back. Okay, let's do it again, going uh, left and then right. Left, right, and tapping on the heart. step back. Okay. Now let's pay a little attention to the lower abdomen. This area is also known as our lower dantian, our reservoir of chi. So we're going to go, we're going to jump to the right and then the left. So right, left, bending slightly forward, and then tapping on just below your navel. And if you'd like, you can 
tap around in a circle for your abdomen. Doesn't matter which direction you go in. Good, and then you're gonna relax your arms and step back. And just pause for a moment. Just place your hands on your lower belly. And just take a couple of breaths here. Just observing the energy in the belly. Okay, so now let's go to the left and then the right, and then we'll massage the belly one more time. So we go left, right, bending slightly forward from your hips and tapping just below your navel. And then going around in a circle, giving your digestion a boost. Good, and relax your arms down, step back. Place your hands on your belly again. And just take a couple of deep breaths. Just observing the energy and power in the center of your body. Take your hands to your lower back now. All right, palms are on the lower back, fingers are pointing down. Soften your knees and just curl your tailbone under slightly so that the lower back is slightly round. And you can engage your belly a little bit. Let's just breathe into the lower back. So breathing into your hands, into the low back. So take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. A little kidney breathing. Take another breath with me. exhale out and relax your arms down. Okay, Whew. 